I wanted to share a quick, simple, easy little dessert that I learned when I was a kid. I call it yogurt pie. This is something that you can make within just a couple of minutes, throw it in a freezer. By the time you're done with your dinner, this dessert's ready to come out and everyone's gonna enjoy it. Let's get to it. These are the ingredients you are going to need. Now you can use any kind of flavor of yogurt that you want. I happen to choose pineapple today. You wanna get the yogurt with the actual fruit in it. Let's start off by making our whipped cream. Now you can go to the store and get the store-bought stuff that comes in a little tub. At least that's how I learned how to make it when I was a kid, but I'm gonna do a little bit more gourmet for you today. We're gonna get our whipped cream. We're gonna put it in this handy dandy little bowl here, okay? So let's just dump all of that into there. Then we're gonna take a little bit of our cinnamon. We're just gonna, a couple little dashes. You don't want a lot of cinnamon. And then we're gonna take a little bit of vanilla. Literally, you're just gonna do a couple of drops in there. And we take our sugar, we throw our sugar in. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna blend our whipped cream. We'll blend this up on like a medium high kind of blend. This is gonna take a couple of minutes. It doesn't take very long. We want a nice kind of thick consistency. You could blend this by hand and that's a lot of fun. It'll take you a long time. I highly suggest having a mixer blender deal. All right, yeah, it's getting pretty thick now. See that it's chunking up and that's good. You don't want to go too far, it'll turn into butter. You don't want to eat butter, I don't think. All right, so now we got our whipped cream. It's all whipped up, it's nice and thick. And we want to take our yogurt here. We'll just throw that in. It's got the pineapple chunks in there. Typically you use two of these, dump it right in. Now the tricky part, because we whipped up our own whipped cream, you just want to kind of fold this stuff in. You're not going to want to like blend it. You want to kind of fold it. See how that works? You just kind of fold it in. And I think that's probably pretty good right there. We're going to grab our pie crust. We're going to take the little plastic top off because you can use it later. You're going to put it on top, all right? So here's what we're going to do with this. You're just going to kind of shove it in there. And then you just kind of work your way around. Try to do this, kind of put it around a little bit. Yeah, might as well put some more in. Living on the edge today, guys. So now the, the easy part, you just stick this lid back on because we don't want massive freezer burn. Don't worry if this stuff goes out the side like that. That doesn't matter. And then we're gonna stick it in the freezer and we're gonna let it sit for a few hours. And by the time we're done making dinner, we'll pull this out and it'll be awesome. Our pie is all done. It's been in the freezer for a couple hours. Now we're ready to try it out. So we're gonna pull the top off here. We'll set that aside. Ooh, that looks good. Oh, look at that. All right, let's give this a try, because I think this, oh my God. See, it gets that crunchiness. It's like a, a light, frosty crunchiness to it, which is so good. Oh my God, you're gonna love this. Make it for your family tonight. They'll love it. Get some yogurt, get some whipped cream and shove this in your face, cause oh, oh, so good, you're gonna love it. So go to dadsthatcook.com, you can find the recipe there. I'll see you next time.